We've not published a formal cost-effectiveness analysis of the DAP-EHF trial, but cost-effectiveness studies in heart failure are not very complicated, so largely it's about the difference between the cost of the therapy and monitoring the therapy, and the cost offsets by reducing the expense of complications of heart failure and of course the biggest one of those is heart failure hospitalisation. That accounts for about 70% of healthcare expenditure in heart failure. It's not devices, it's not heart transplants, it's heart failure hospitalisation. That's the big ticket economic item. We reduced the risk of heart failure hospitalisation by 30%. So if you live in a healthcare system where dapagliflozin is not a particularly expensive drug, like in my healthcare system, then the balance between cost and cost offset and overall cost effectiveness is likely to be favourable.